everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I haven't filmed the video in a very, very long time. I think it's been about a month, which I feel like is pretty long. I was kind of consistent there for a while, but we all know that your girl Tina doesn't stay consistent for a long time. I kind of wanted to get back onto YouTube and do like kind of an explanation video about where I am as far as like my weight loss goals, my journey goals, what I'm trying to do. There's a lot of new things that are kind of happening that I want to fill you guys in on. And what else is there? I changed my Instagram username. I'll leave the updated one down below. I just changed it to my name and last name, which if you guys don't know is Tina Minossian. And I post a lot of before and afters there, cooking uh, IG stories, so follow me on there for extra content. I swear every time I film a weight loss video, I forget in the beginning to put this little tidbit. I had VSG about three years ago now. Um, my highest weight loss was 160 pounds. My highest weight was 315. And um, my lowest was about 155. So those are the stats. <laughs> so I don't even know where to get started. Now, this video is going to be primarily weight loss based. There will be a few like little life updates here and there. I know that I've, I've realized that a lot of the people that follow me follow me for weight loss. And in the beginning, this channel kind of started off as like makeup and beauty and all that stuff. And it's very interesting to see how it's grown into what it is and i think that that's like any kind of like person who is a creative person you kind of just have to work 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 till you find like what works for you and what your outlet is and um i really really enjoy helping people with weight loss just letting you guys know this video is gonna have mostly weight loss updates as well as tiny life updates here and there just because I realized that a lot of you guys follow me for weight loss and that kind of brings me into my first point is I really want to kind of put more of an effort into doing these videos and I'm not gonna lie to you guys around the new year right after the new year actually I went into like a very big slump like I went back into like my depressive state I wasn't feeling good about where I was in life um my career my everything just all of it around that time I just thought to myself you know what I'm just gonna quit YouTube like screw it it's not really bringing me anything I put money into it I put time I put effort and then I kind of went back to my Instagram and I looked at all my messages and my DMs, my daily DMs of people telling me, Tina, like, you've helped me so much. You've helped me overcome my fear. I got the surgery. I've lost weight. I've done this. I've done that. And that just kind of lets me know that, you know what? I have to continue doing this. And I don't know if it helps one person or two people or whatever it is, but I have to continue doing this. If you followed me about a year and a half ago and you saw like my pictures and stuff, you knew how thin I was back then. I really, really was much, much thinner. And it's crazy because people keep telling me like, oh, like where all those curves fr come from? Oh, you face in your pictures. But I shit you not, everything I eat goes to my butt and my thighs. You guys, it's the most craziest thing because yes, of course I'm getting bloated and stuff in my stomach area, but it just all goes to my butt and thighs. So I've gotten much curvier since then, which I'm not complaining, but I've decided that, you know what? I wanna take back my life and I wanna be the best version of myself. When I graduated in May, last May, I had a lot of problems right after. I had a lot of health problems. So uh, for about a month or two, I was really, really sick. I was on antibiotics. My stomach suffered tremendously. I do have a sensitive stomach as is. And I kind of never let myself heal from that. Um, I'm constantly nauseous. I'm constantly feeling sick. And I'm kind of just sick of feeling that way. And I think that I have finally come to the point where I've looked at myself in the mirror and I said, you know what? Like, if you keep eating this way, if you keep doing this to your body, you're always going to feel like crap. So either take control of your life or let food take control over you again like it has for however many years so that's why two days ago you guys i decided i'm like you know what tt put down those chips put down that twinkie and let's get back into that healthy lifestyle that you worked so hard for yeah i gained 30 pounds and it's crazy i don't always say it's actual 30 pounds of regain because i feel like when i was at 155 165 i was kind of that weight because I had gotten complications from plastic surgery. So I would say like I gained 20 to 30 pounds back from when I lost it. And I definitely feel it. I feel it in my breath, like the way that I feel like when I'm doing physical 
activity. I feel it in my skin. I feel it in my hair. Just the way I am as a person, my outlook, I feel clogged, you guys. Like, when you eat like shit, like, everything feels like shit. Like, my brain, I'm so foggy. Like, I don't feel like I'm clear. I don't feel like I have the energy to do things anymore, which is so unlike me. And that's what really worries me is when I start displaying behavior that is so like the behavior I displayed in the past when I was depressed and overweight and all that stuff. So as a person, you kind of have to determine those red flags and realize, okay, oh my God, it's happening again. I need to stop myself before I dig myself too deep into a hole. So how does all of this relate back to YouTube? Let me tell you. I decided that I want to use YouTube as somewhat of a diary, kind of just like a vlog or whatever YouTube was before, um, and use it to kind of track my progress and let you guys know about how everything is going. I feel like whenever I was doing my initial VSG journey, I wasn't I didn't understand the power I had. I didn't understand how much people needed the knowledge that I had. You know what I'm saying? Like it was so new. It was kind of like an up and coming thing. I I didn't document everything. So now I feel like, okay, well, I missed out then. I didn't give the people the information that was so needed back then. I'm gonna do it now. And I know there's a lot of you guys out there. There's a lot of people that message me every day like, hey, Tina, I'm five years post a post-op, I gained 20 pounds, do you have any advice, whatever, whatever. So I was thinking, why not do it together? I don't know, like what I eat in a day's recipe videos. And I think that the main reason why I've never really stuck to doing them, I know I've promised them a billion times, and it's because I set such high standards for myself. It's like, okay, well, it has to be perfect. I don't have the perfect kitchen. I don't have the perfect um, plates for it right now. But I think that just, Putting it out there is what matters at the end of the day. Like, whatever. If it's not the best quality or if you guys are not pleased with the lighting, I'm sorry. But, you know, it is what it is. So I think that's it. That's kind of like my update on life. What else is going on in my life? I quit my job that I had. Don't want to get into that. Um, I am kind of in a limbo with my career right now, as always. Me and Zach are looking into moving away from California, moving out of California just because stuff is way too expensive here. So there's just like a lot of things going on. But I think that the main thing that I want to really focus on right now in my life is my health because I think that that's the most important because if you feel good then everything else kind of just falls into place. Also, please let me know down below if you guys have any requests for VSG weight loss videos so I can film those as well. So that's it. Um, please subscribe if you guys want to join me on my journey and like this video if you enjoyed it. And thank you guys so much for supporting me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.